Hello everybody, welcome to Season 48. First round match between Jorge El Cuatro and Durful 15. And uh, there you go. Oh my god. Oh my god, Steve, that would be incredible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so good. That's so good. I'm gonna send that to him right now. Oh, I did it wrong. Right. Let me just message Hellboy. <laughs> Right, anyway, there's some teams playing a game of Blood Bowl now. Of course, I, I don't really care because of this. Genius by Steve. Um, right, so that's Chorfs versus Woodies. So it's a good ma racial matchup for Chorfs, isn't it? Um, tackle on the bull and mighty bull of a guard. So like a good bull for elves. The other one's got guard, bull, and he's got blodge. So really nice. Well, not really nice, but like decent balls. I don't like this. I don't like this going side to blitz him and then leaving this. Like this is a bit weak, isn't it? And he's moving up further away. He's made leaving the center very weak now. And what the Woodies have got? A mighty blow and edge. Not a lot. Eleven players. And they don't even have a wizard. They've got a babe. How have they got so little? And the Chorfs have got two claw pommers. And another claw. I guess the claws are wasted. Mostly. Yeah, okay, so he's managed to move him up there. But this is now... Weak. All this. Yeah, and straight in for this guy. Ooh! He's only got two rerolls! What the hell, man? Oh my god, these teams. Like, it would be so good to re-roll that, wouldn't it, and just get people through. I think it would be, but obviously when you've got two re-rolls, you can't re-roll it. I really like three re-rolls on L's, because it just lets you make plays that you just could not make without them. He's scared to follow with a tree. Shut up. He hasn't got, he hasn't got Dauntless. Don't be such a wuss. Literally, that's a great follow, isn't it? How do you not follow that? He's got Fend. He's got Fend. Well done, Jim. <sighs> what, what an idiotic decision. Why didn't he follow? <laughs> okay, he had Fend. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is what sleep deprivation does to somebody. Oh my god, and the dancer. Slap both down, gets his dancer blitzed and cast. Apple works though. Thanks Team Ann Taylor for, uh, for being my core caster who knows the rules. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't blame, yeah, I mean, I don't blame you, oh, God, I believe you, Jesus, I can't, I'd give up, I'd give up, shall I just go to sleep and let nobody commentate, it won't be worse. He's very narrow, isn't he, the Chorfs, they might be able to get a stop here, still the Elves. It's just, it's just uncomfortable taking so many mighty blow hits, isn't it? Tackle. So much tackle, mighty blow. <laughs> I'm not sadly no pranks to venge. I'm just, I'm just addicted to Minecraft a little bit. Oh God, you know what I found? I found Planet Minecraft. 
and I found YouTube and I've been watching some things. It's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing some of the things people have made and stuff and some of the videos people have made. Incredible. I know, right? It's so, I don't understand how the elves only have a babe. There's all of this claw pom, and the elves have got an Edge 5 and a Mighty Blow. And they don't even have a wizard. They've only they've only got eleven players. Two rerolls. I guess the Chos only got eleven players. It is, yeah, Wolfpack. Just like Storybook Brawl and Blood Bowl. <laughs> Pretty much exactly the same as those. <laughs> None of them did, no, Tony. None of them did. They did time-lapse videos, which I don't know how they did, but that would be really cool to do. Imagine if I did a time-lapse of me building my gigantic cock. It'd be incredible. Have the most views. The most views of any Minecraft. <laughs> Biggest penis in Minecraft. <laughs> I could just make loads of them. Look at that, it's easy 2D on the ball. That's appalling, isn't it? Imagine playing this this joke of an elf team with a team riddled with Tackle Mighty and you just let them dance through. Hey! <laughs> and just get a 2D like that. Barely any dice. What the hell? Yeah, Tony. I See, I'm, I'm just going to do everything, right? I'm just going to try everything um, when it comes to... YouTube videos. Um, and just, you know, see what sticks. Like, I'll make, you know, some big builds that look cool. Um, do, like, you know, farms, you know, like XP farms and stuff. Uh, automated farming machines. All sorts of things. It'll be pretty cool. It'll be interesting to. Uh, of course, first I've got to learn how to play, so I've got to go on an intensive training uh, montage, which is what I've been doing for this week mostly. <laughs> or maybe a couple of weeks now, I've been insanely addicted to Minecraft. I'll try and calm down a bit. Get at least a bit normal. Oh, he's based him, he's based him with tackle. He hasn't got dodge. But he's based him. Well, all you can do is just dodge. Easy. Why is there like no sound effects? It seems really quiet. <laughs> oh, Thomas T. Well, because uh, Minecraft is... Uh, if I was streaming Minecraft, I'd have three viewers and one would be me. And one would be a B. <laughs> and one would be, one would be like a six-year-old child. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. But eventually, plus I've got to like get good at Minecraft, right? So I've got to play. I'm gonna mostly play off-stream Minecraft until I learn things, and then might just do more YouTube things. Might be a better YouTube. And then plus it's hardcore, right? So I can play like I can play like the realm with viewers. 
That's kind of that's kind of a cool thing to do, like survival with viewers. Multiplayer survival. Like so that, that could be some cool things, right? Uh, that could be some cool content. Do fun things. Um, and then I could do like um I could do like, you know, some some interesting builds in creative. And then I could also do uh I could also do a hardcore game eventually. Not yet, I've, I've got to learn to play first. Cast him. Instant bang out. You might still get the 2 1 grind here, right? If you can make this 1 1 with no players left, but it's probably going to be. Well, I mean, I'd do it in single player. I would obviously do single player hardcore. Was... You can't even do uh, hardcore rounds anymore. I, I would just turn PvP off as well. Okay. But sadly, you can't do hardcore realm because that would that would have been pretty cool. One day, because you have multiple worlds, so I thought that'd be cool to have like a hardcore world, but you just literally can't. Oh, shades of Gaza. Sorry, I was just watching. Watching some seventh division football. <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if like an average college team is better than a. It's better than. A, I knew somebody who could have probably been a pro footballer, but he uh, he didn't do it because he thought, you know, it's hard to make it and like, what if you get injured and stuff. He was too he was too smart to be a footballer, really. Like he actually was pretty smart as well. Like, obviously, he was in my class. Um, but you know, like. That's the thing, like, you've got to be pretty dedicated, haven't you, to make it as a footballer. And, like, he didn't really... He didn't go all out. Because, you know, smart enough to get a good job and be boring. So didn't want to risk... Didn't want to risk just, like, you know, torn ACL and then your career's over when you're... <laughs> when you're, like, 12. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, lots of them do. Lots of them are like that though, the, the, the rat controlled the cook. Yeah. It's true though, lo loads of like, loads of kids just get injured. And then they're done, right? The butcher. <laughs> Oof. Can the chaff switch sides now? It's a long way to go. It's a long way to waddle. Are you German, Rolex? For some reason, I think you are. Italian. Why did I think you were German? <laughs> Italian. God, I remember. I remember Serie A when I was a kid. God, that was so good. It was so good. Why don't they have players like that anymore, honestly? It seems like every player is shit these days. That was another reason why I stopped following football. Once again, he's just given a free 2D on the ball. Um, you know, 
new to the caging thing is is uh, is Jorge El Cuatro. It's mad in it like kids today they won't they won't even know like Fat Ronaldo and Del Piero and all them. Baggio Crazy. Toddy even would be like old. Fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I I had him on on <laughs> I I I I knew about him before a lot of people would have done because of uh FIFA Road to World Cup ninety eight when he was at Brescia and he was like their only good player. <laughs> It's how I discovered Perlo. <laughs> Peel or whatever. <laughs> Pretty funny. Because that was like the only challenge was to use like an absolute shitty one man team. Of course, his skill set not represented well in FIFA. The only thing that matters is like speed. FIFA 98 was the best one, yeah. FIFA Road to World Cup 98. Incredible. Had the five aside on it, it was incredible. Oh. The five aside was sick. Genuinely sick. That was so good, like. Among Us. I like David. Uh, Zidane. Oh. Rabbit, I like Rabbit. Man. I guess kids will will know Zidane. Cause he was... Yeah, that's the one, Steve. There you go, 1-1. One, one. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. Ah, well there you go, I wasn't really watching. But um Desai. I think most people in England like Desai, if only because he got rid of uh, Ron Atkinson. <laughs> well, Ron Atkinson got rid of Ron Atkinson, but you know. <laughs> Flip me. Yeah, there's a down head, but yeah. Yeah, I bet it was. Yeah, like, and he was a legend, Zidane, wasn't he? Like, surely Zidane will be remembered a bit. But even then, like, as I say, Euro 96, for kids nowadays, is pretty much like World Cup 66 for me. And whoever the fucking legends were in 66, I didn't know any of them, did I? So I guess even Zidane will be forgotten about now, mostly. Maybe he's not in Italy and France, but... A lot of places, I guess, Zidane won't even be a big deal. Crazy. Well, I like that Raul was always a bit shit, <laughs> despite playing for like Real Madrid for like 15 years or whatever. He just always seemed a bit shit to me. So I imagine he'll he'll have got forgotten right quick. Oh, 
équipe est en possession du ballon. 16 years he played for Real Madrid. Là, c'est comme ça qu'on fait tourner le ballon. Hundred and two games for Spain, and just he just never seemed that good to me. No sidestep doing things. No, he's blocked all the forward squares. He had to hit diagonally here, didn't he? Oopsie! Oop for goal. He had to like fill in there, right, and then hit from here. So that he could like sidestep up to that way or, or whatever, you know, fill that square in some. That's what he was going for. Like it, the kind of basic idea was there, but he had to hit diagonal, so there was a spot for him to go to. So like, if you imagine these four squares are filled, he blitzes in, and then the sidestep is here, and then gets forward there. But obviously, if you go straight, and there's no square to the side step to go to. So he, he almost had the right idea of how to rescue it, but he just didn't didn't have didn't have it. That does happen sometimes, Vader, yeah. Because football 2 is a good game. You'll get used to it. <laughs> You'll get used to it. There's people in the crowd in this uh, in these matches, and they've got a little they've got a little sign saying goal, and when they score, they hold up a sign saying goal. I can't imagine anything worse to be doing with your life than <laughs> you would just <laughs> you would take a sign with goal written on it to a football match and then <laughs> hold it up <laughs> when there's a goal. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> That's the literal worst thing in sports. Daka, 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 here I go again. Do you know what I fucking loved? I fucking loved. Come on, Tim. At Wembley, at Wembley, at Wimbledon, uh, to uh, the other guy, the fucking miserable jock, Andy Murray. When people were shouting, come on, Tim, Andy Murray, fuck me, that was brilliant. That was peak sports for me. <laughs> I literally wanted to go to Wimbledon just to shout, come on, Tim, at uh, Andy Murray. Be brilliant. <laughs> fucking brilliant. <laughs> Ah yes, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Artemis could do that, couldn't he? It was an open ghoul. <laughs> How did you miss the ghoul? <laughs> oh god. Movement nine bolt. Gets the removal. Worth it. That was the problem with not going full commit on the DACA. It got him a stun, but it got him a guy removed as well. Good thing about this Dakar is, we will find out once and for sure whether the Dakar is good or not. Um, <laughs> certainly nothing. It will be nothing to do with the, uh, you know, just this match on its own. It will definitely be a decider of whether the Dakar is good or not. Hey. 
What even is this show? Oh god. When football came home. Jesus. Yeah, Bull does not get murdered, only a stun. But now it comes the interesting thing, right? He's killed three turns as Durfel. But now, in come the Chorfs. I guess at least he's coming in, that gives them, you the chance to get behind them. <laughs> Appalling goalkeeping, brilliant. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, les joueurs viennent au soutien de leurs coéquipiers. Right, what happens now? The guard uh, was removed. But the fender was not not enough to hold the sideline. This is horrible, he should have GFI'd. Like, okay, you don't want to, but you've got to, because it gives you the assist on him. And it clears you out of the way to move people through. Imagine if that was him and then he could have come through there, but I don't know where he was. This guy can't, just can't, physically can't come through now. Well, okay, he's also rolled a double one. And cast himself. But! <laughs> I mean, he's also rolled a double one and cast himself. But, oh no, it's tackle. But did he re-roll it or did he, did he already use the re-roll? That was not good. Oh, did he re-roll the hit on him, the both down, and so it's just a one? He's had to do that GFI, though, with him. Well, there you go. Definitive proof that the deck is bad. I mean, it, it's tough, right? Because you haven't got many players, and they've got tackle and he rolled a bad blitz and but that he had a, he had an almost decent chance to get through and do something like if he got a power if he got in there and then got things through but not easy as with so few players Picks up with a ball on the sideline. That is dangerous. Because if it goes out, that's one of the ways the elves can win, isn't it? I didn't like that. Did I not like that? Weak diagonal. He's just punching with him. Fuck off, mate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like... Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do something. Do something. Don't just punch with this lad. Like at least blitz with him and then go up. Has anyone blitzed? Yeah, maybe blitz. Maybe blitz with him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because he can just go through that way anyway, right? Because, like, you could think. You don't follow so you can come around the map, but he can just run straight through and then punt. Oh, 
mauvaise passe causée par cette foule de morts ardentes qui nous consume de ses rayons. Oh, close though, close, but I guess now the jump up is going to nail this line on. And that will be G flipping G. Oh god. Oh, he's three dicing him, okay. I thought, why the hell are you hitting him from that angle? But I would just want to pile on. But the third dice is the charm. Well played getting 3D. I don't think it was correct though. <laughs> but who can say if it was good or bad? But I would have definitely piled on him. A million percent, as Dale Quest would say. Hey, that bowling spot, I'm just getting the call. Well, he's not doing anything here, is he? Moving forward. Well. I could only imagine Artemis' reaction to this match. I think the, uh... I think there were some dodgy decisions, but I guess both of these are relatively new to Chalice, I think, so... Maybe there was Chalice nerves. At least they didn't... They didn't have to play the Germans in the final. Yeah, Samba's really good at it. He knows his stuff, this Samba. Oh. Not Harry. What a game Manowar was. Four. No, Charlie. I do tend to concentrate though, like. Le match ne peut pas se terminer sur un nul. I'll concentrate on the match. It's a pointless little kid's game, isn't it? No, a little bit. Like it depends, right? Depends. Sometimes, like sometimes, it's pretty intense, isn't it? Sometimes it's pretty intense. Like you know, when things are happening and stuff in the match. But like that's true in like Blitzpit and uh, and like all those games. Like if you're playing somebody good, like you know, if you're playing Cruz or whatever, then Dio or somebody, then. Uh, it's pretty, it can be pretty interesting, can't it? But I wouldn't say nervous, you know. Oh, someone did take his shirt off when she scored. Well, that's pretty good. Well, now I'm a fan of women's football. I've been converted. I hope she scores again. <laughs> oh, sad. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. She's won me over. <laughs> now the biggest fan of women's football in the world. <laughs> It's come on! Yeah! <laughs> oh, 
Well, there you go. Chofs winning in Chalice. Amazing. There were some bad drives as well, leaving the wood, leaving the woodies 2D, like instant 2Ds on both drives. It's pretty rough, but they got away with it. Um, congratulations to Jorge El Cuatro and uh, <laughs> commiserations to uh, Durful15. Yeah, there you go. Um, this is the first round. The short dock. <laughs> I wonder if he called them Chorf Wharf just so he could call the stadium the short dock. Right. Um, exactly. Right. Control. Cut. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.